Hey, here we are at Animal Island, hoping to come across some reptiles. Hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, so if we're looking for lizards, it's hot enough that they, it's good enough temperature that they'll be hunting and stuff right now. That I think our best approach is staying on the trail and just looking to see if we can find anything in the landscape. It's a side boss lizard. Yeah, that's what I thought you Okay, ready? No, no, you've got to get close to that before you show it. Has anyone had a bucket or I'm anything? going for it, I'm going for it. Yes! Dude! Ah, oh, shoot! Right here, right here. Oh, grab it! Oh my gosh, it's a bunny! <laughs> oh my gosh! We have a bunny. We might, we might have a whiptail lizard. Down there. Right. Oh man, I think we lost it. I see, I see. Do you guys have it? Are you guys rolling? Him, yep. yep, I got him. I got him. Nice. Let's see his Woo! That was some crazy lizard. Woo, I got you, little buddy. Okay, let's bring him down to the parking lot. This is the side blotch lizard. And you can see that it's got all those little blue splotches. That's probably why it's called that. Do you see that, Dad? And these guys are incredible, okay? They have incredible camouflage. I'll show you that toward the end, but I don't want to put them near the ground because they are so fast. We have seen, I don't know, maybe 10 of these guys? 10 of them? We caught four and three escaped. No! No! Oh, it's right there. This is the only one that we've had for more than a minute. Something that's really cool about side boss lizard is there's three kinds. There's blue throat, orange throat and yellow throat. That is how they mate. See, the, the orange ones are really territorial. They have big territories with tons of females that they mate with. The blue ones don't really have a territory at all. They just have more of a home base with one female. They're loyal to that one female. And I want to show you guys something about this lizard. One of the reasons is that they're so hard to catch is because of their impeccable camouflage, speed, and you can't catch them by the tail. Um, I'm, I have to turn them around for a second, Dad. Yeah, just hold them up to the lens. If you can see that, he lost his tail and grew back. Do you see that, Dad? Uh-huh. So we actually have caught one of these, sadly. We didn't know that this were a species that dropped their tail. Hiram grabbed it the wrong way and it dropped its tail. It was a complete accident, and that's why it was so hard to catch this guy. That Dropping his tail is um, an adaptation that they have to get away from predators. You see, if you're a predator and you come up and pick up this, ta pick up this lizard, the easiest part to grab is the tail because it's just dangling behind it. So you're going to grab it. It actually can lose its tail, and then the tail um, can actually keep moving. It'll move for about a half hour, distracting the predator while the lizard can make a runaway. It's actually really interesting. Okay guys, so now we are gonna release this side boss lizard back into its natural habitat. Go ahead, anytime. Daddy, you ready? Mm -hmm. There he goes. Whoa, fast. Hello guys, thanks for watching this epic encounter with the side boss lizards of Antelope Island. Please comment and subscribe. See you on the next Utah Nature episode.